Welcome to Logan Field in Seattle, Washington. As uh, this afternoon, the Seattle University Redhawks play their final home game of the regular season against a non-conference opponent, the Stanford Cardinal out of the Pac-12 opponent that they've played this year, and they've hung tough with all of them. Here's Simpson's pitch. Swing and a miss. And Kern goes down swinging. Simpson comes out with a first strikeout of the ball game. Yeah, Kern is a tough. Here's Emily Jones, the center fielder, and this one is hit to Lily Garcia. She moves over to her left and scoops it over to Jasmine Wayne for the out. Quickly two up and two down here for Nicholas Simpson in the first inning. You know, and every once in a while. And Simpson's pitch. This one is hit to Mikey Morris. Couple of hops, guns it over, and that's going to do it for the Cardinal in the top of the first. They go down in order. We will be back with Seattle U coming to bat in just a moment on ESPN Plus. Oh, count as Megan Rabin, the home plate umpire, making sure that uh, everybody's on the same page. And Sidney Frankenberger draws a walk on four pitches to start things off. I was saying that uh, Krause only had 32 that really had a productive weekend against Tarleton. And she had five RBIs total. There's a called strike three to Mikey Morris. He's been batting 300. Three home runs, 28 runs batted in. And this one is hit hard, too short. They'll go to second, and the throw gets away. And uh, that'll be an error there on the throw. And she's a local product out of Woodenville, Washington. That one is shot through the right side. And coming around is Frankenberger. No hesitation whatsoever as Fitch ends up on at second. Wayne gets into third, and the Red Hawks have the early lead here against Stanford. Yeah, and that's umpire. So we've been commenting this year, Katie, on how we've seen a lot of new umpires, but we're familiar with these ones. This one has popped up too short, and uh, it'll be Mailer making the off of Reagan Krause. This one is hit to third, and the throw across is in time from the uh, third baseman, Jade Berry. And that'll do it for the Red Hawks in the first. They get one in, and they leave a couple stranded. They do have the lead, though. At, uh, was looking at in at that one off of Simpson. Right to Garcia. Goes to both knees. Throws it over to first. And the out is recorded at first base. Man, Lily's such a vacuum over there, isn't she? We've seen that standing on the rubber, or who knows? 3-0 pitch to Chan. And that one just up high for ball four. And so uh, Simpson maybe thinking she was squeezed a little bit at the top of the zone there. Possible. You, you've got to be ready to face the best of the best. That one lined into right field, and the runner from first going to third, that's Chan. And it'll be runners at first and third with just one out here in the top of the second. Simpson delivers the first pitch to Koch, and this one is hit right to Garcia. She's going to put the tag on her and go over to first for the air. What a play by Lily Garcia. And the Red Hawks get out of it unscathed. 1-0 Seattle U as we go to the bottom of the second uh, early innings with a heads-up play. As this one is dropped down the left field line and catching it in, uh, crossing into foul territory there, the left fielder, Kira Chan. And so uh, she showed a little bit of range there to get to that one. As uh, Garcia, a defensive wizard for the Red Hawks. And this one is hit to the left of the shortstop, Mailer, and she goes over to first for the out. So uh, a lot of California natives, though, as I mentioned, on both rosters. This one is hit to third, and Barry goes over to first for the out. The Red Hawks go down in order in the bottom of the second. They lead it one to nothing as we go to the top of the third. Coming up here in just a moment on the and here's Simpson's delivery and this one is popped up. Wilson coming on in foul territory. She makes the catch. So Mailer pops up in foul territory for nothing. And the pitch and this one is hit over Mikey Morris into left field, and Wilson will have to play it on a couple of hops. And trying to see it as long as they can before they commit to a swing there. That's going to be a fair ball and an out as Jasmine Wayne picks it up in fair territory and steps on the bag as Lim will get down to second base. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And this one is hit to Garcia. Plays it on a couple of hops, scoops it over to first, and that'll do it. The Cardinal goes scoreless again in the third. 
And the Red Hawks with a one nothing lead as we go to the bottom of the third. Come, uh, a little bit of rain earlier in the day. Sidney Frankenberger sends one to the right of Kern. And, or to, uh, not Kern, but uh, Mailer, rather. And uh, she can't gun it over to first in time. Frankenberger, plenty of speed to get down to the uh, of San Jose, California. This one is hit to the pitcher, Kraus, and she goes over to first for the out. Kraus had to come off the uh, the rubber just a little to her right, but she was able to get to it quickly and make the throw over to first. You know, and you'll take. You know, she went to Archbishop Mitty, and uh, Stephanie went to Oak Grove High School. This one is hit. To the shortstop, she's going to go to third. They didn't have a force there. Didn't need to go that way, but they do get the tag down on Frankenberger. And uh, guy in the first inning. And sends this one to third, and Barry will gun it over to first for the out. And Fitch kind of uh, lunging there, almost uh, losing her balance. She did lose her balance, but she was able to, to uh, stay on her feet sponsoring that. And... Uh, not no, not not Katie Favilla, but uh, there's a <laughs> strikeout of Gall. But uh, play a single elimination round as Kanashiro sends this one to Mikey Morris. She guns it over to first, and that will be the second out here in the top of the fourth. Own dirt on your own grass. Um, there's just a lot of things that make life a heck of a lot easier in postseason play. Chan walks again, and. Uh, that is the second walk for her, and I believe they are both on four pitches. And Simpson, as we play here in the fourth, two and two. Two outs, Chan at first, pitch on the way. And that one is a called strike three, and that'll do it. Simpson gets through another inning. Four home runs, 21 runs batted in on the season, batting 264. She can hold her own in that batter's box, but she strikes out here. Against Reagan Krause, and that's pitch. One and two. That one drops in for a called strike three. Yeah, that's a beautiful change up there. Hadn't gone, looked like off speed all at bat there. Pitch on the way, and she checks her swing there, and it's a called strike three. And Krause delivers another strikeout to get out of the bottom of the fourth. Seattle U leads 1 0 over 2020. Stanford did. The Cardinal went 22 and 4 that year. And Simpson with the strikeout of Coke, and she is fired up. Yeah, she should be. That's a beautiful drop ball, and that's a huge out. I mean, we're in the second half of this year. This is River Mailer, and she sends one into center field. Frankenberger tracking, and she can't quite get to it. It's going to bounce over the fence, and Mailer will have to pull in at second with a ground rule double as Frankenberger gave that one a good run but couldn't quite catch up to it. This one is hit deep into right field. Sophia Kissling, all she can do is look up. That one is way out of here by Caitlin Lim. And the Cardinal take the lead here in the top of the fifth. Caitlin Lim jumped all over it. Yeah, and we know it on that right field fence, right? You get a hold of one and off it goes. And that was a no doubter by Lim. She hits that ball. Field, as we uh, mentioned, that right field fence, pretty, uh, pretty short here at Logan Field. But uh, that one would have been out anywhere. As uh, Kissling, all she could do was turn around and watch it fly. One out here, top of the fifth. And Simpson has given up a double and a home run. This one hit to Garcia, and she will scoop it over to, to first for the out. So two outs here in the top of the fifth. And Jones with a 2-2 count. And this one is skied into shallow center field, and Frankenberger is going to come on and take it. Mikey Morris was backing up there, but Frankenberger calls her off. And it puts it away for out number three here in the fifth inning. Jones is battle. Greg Sexton and Katie Favilla with you on ESPN+. Plus. Stanford takes the lead on a two-run home run by Caitlin Lim in the top of the fifth. And here's Lily Garcia. She pops one to shortstop River Mailer and uh, with 11 RBIs on the season. No home runs. And there's a called strike three. And Krause has uh, gotten a few of those called strike threes. That's her fifth strikeout of the day for the Red Hawks in the bottom of the first. And sends this one through the left side for another hit. And Frankenberger two for two and has been on base all three times. Yeah, another great swing through the 5-6 hole. The Unless the umpires uh, deem otherwise. Swing and a miss. And Morris goes down. 
with a strikeout for the second time. She's 0 for 3 in the game. That'll do it for the Red Hawks in the fifth. 2-1 to one, Stanford as we go to the sixth on the lead. And they lead it now here in the sixth as Gall sends that one hard to Garcia on a couple of hops, and Garcia's right there in the right spot. And as you mentioned, Katie, she is a vacuum there at second base. And, and misses with the first pitch for ball one. And delivers another one here. And this one is hit off the end of the bat, and Garcia is there for that one. So a couple of... Uh, she can get a double pretty easy. This one to Garcia, and she's going to make three plays in the top of the sixth. And that'll do it for the Cardinal as the Red Hawks will get another at bat here in the bottom of the six coming up in just a moment on ESPN Plus. Here, see if you can scratch something out. And Wayne swings and misses at that one as well. Both of those last two kind of up in the zone. And Jasmine Wayne hacking and missing. Seventh strikeout for Reagan Krause on the afternoon. And here is Taylor Fitch. And Fitch sends one deep to left field. No doubt about that one. It is gone over the left field fence. And we're tied at two. That was a rocket. That I didn't even have time to react. That ball got out so fast. What a shot. She turns on that ball and tanks it out to left field. Taylor Fitch, her seventh home run of the season. And she got all of that one. Did not miss it. We're tied at two here in the bottom of the sixth. And this one could be shaping up to be a great game coming down to the wire here. As Fitch ties it up, and it's a new ball game. Nicholas Simpson will step to the plate now. And Simpson the opportunity to help herself out. Reagan Krause hadn't given up a run since the first inning. Pitch on the way. And that one misses, and Simpson trots down to first base with a walk. Katie Walling to the plate now. And Jeff Hero. Coming out of the rain delay. Walling sends one to second. Shovel over to second for one. And the throw on to first is not quite in time. Walling beats it out. And so she reaches on a fielder's home run of the year. RBI number 34 for Fitch. Two and two here to Spatafora. And a swing and a miss. And Krause another strikeout. That is eight. For her on the day. Pac-12 gets dissolved. There is a there is a possibility. That one is hit into fairly deep left center field. And Frankenberger moving back a little further than she thought she was going to have to initially. It looked like that one just kind of kept carrying. But Frank 11 hits in 50 at bats on the season. And since this one, Garcia making the play. And she can't quite get it over. She can't uh, get the throw over and... Keep Jasmine Wayne's foot on the bag as Simpson delivers. And this one is popped into left field. Wilson, plenty of time to settle underneath it. And she makes the play for out number two. Team can do offensively in the bottom of the seventh. This one is rocketed into right field. Kissling gets to it, spins and throws. And getting into third base is Schrader. <clears throat> the uh, pinch hitter from um, or or more. Here's the pitch to Kern, and going on the on the uh, first pitch there is Lim, and she will slide into second base without a throw. Void. Oh, one pitch here, and this one off the glove of Simpson, and this is going to score the go-ahead run for the Cardinal as Schrader comes in, and Simpson got a glove on it, and just couldn't. Close the glove on it, and the Cardinal take the lead 3-2. to two. And she's been held hitless today by Nicholas Simpson. Pitch on the way, and taken off is Kern, and Spadafora is not going to throw it down there. Full count, two outs. Emily Jones at the plate. Here's the pitch, and this one is hit, and Morris gets a glove on it, and now the throw is going to come in. And safe at the plate, they score two runs as Lim comes in and Kern comes around from second base. And the uh, Cardinal take a three-run lead. Kern was on at second as uh, the uh, and continues with the Cardinal now with three runs in, leading it 5-2. to two. And this one is hit into right field. Kissling comes up and throws into second and gets it in quickly but not in time. And the pitch, 
And that one was the change up there, but it's popped up into right field, and Hopfer comes over and makes the play. And that will do it for the Cardinal in the top of the seventh. They get three to take the lead, five to two. Red Hawks are going to have to fight in the bottom of the seventh. It's in Wilson and Frankenberger. And Sins sends one into left field for a base hit just past the glove of the third baseman, Barry. And that will get the Red Hawks going here in the bottom. Base umpire out at second. Uh, somebody's got to make a call there. And Wilson can't hold up on the rise ball there. And Krause with the strikeout. Frankenberger's got to get on to make that happen. And Frankenberger sends one to short, and the throw gets away. And Sin is going to hold at second base. And probably a, a, a good decision there by Ava Sin. You don't want to make an out at third. The number two hitter in the Red Hawks lineup for a lot of the season, and this one is hit into left field. Fly ball, and the left fielder Hayes will come in and get it. And so Morris made some contact there, but uh, couldn't hit a line drive any circle. Here's the pitch. And that one hit to the right of second base, and everybody's going to be safe. Frankenberger is going to get to third as Ava Sin comes around and scores. And the Red Hawks are not done yet. It's 5-3. to three. And This is this will be her 17th appearance. And Fitch sends this one into center field, but she just got under it, and that is going to do it as Fitch flies out to center field to end the ball game. And the play made out there by Emily Jones for the final out. Red Hawks get one in the bottom of the seventh. They have the tying runs aboard. Fitch representing the winning run at the plate. And uh, it's got to make you feel good going into the last regular season uh, series uh, down in uh, UT Arlington. So uh, that's all you can ask for, for a good Monday night ball game. It would be an interesting uh, series there for the Red Hawks as uh, Utah Tech and uh, Utah Valley are the number three and four seeds currently. They're playing each other over the weekend. 